Escape from Tarkov's PvE mode has gained popularity for offering a more relaxed way to experience the game, complete with progression and AI PMCs, allowing players to progress at their own pace. However, this mode initially faced criticism due to long matchmaking times and shortened raid timers. Thankfully, BSG has made improvements by shifting most PvE maps to client-side loading and extending raid times. This change has significantly reduced queue times except for the streets map, which is still loaded on the BSG server. Despite these improvements though, players are now facing performance issues, with FPS dropping to half of what it was previously on most maps. Fortunately, if you own an AMD Radeon GPU from the RX 6000 or RX 7000 series, there's a solution, FMF2. The Fluid Motion Frames 2 beta driver for AMD Radeon GPUs builds on the previous FMF1 technology, offering even more frames and minimal input latency thanks to new AI algorithms. I've tested FMF2 in Tarkov PvE mode and found it to be highly effective in combating performance issues. I've included footage from three different maps in this demonstration, Lighthouse, Shoreline, and Woods. Lighthouse has been hit hard and is struggling for performance with the high amount of AI and rogues. With FMF2, Lighthouse now maintains 120 to 140 FPS with FMF2 staying above even 100 FPS when scoped in. The performance is smooth and responsive with negligible input latency. Shoreline, after its rework, became one of the worst performing maps. However, FMF2 brings it back to the 200 FPS range whether you're in the fields or inside the resort. Woods is historically a strong performer and one of the best performing maps in the game and it maintains a robust 200 to 240 FPS with FMF2, providing a seamless and visually stunning experience. If you're struggling with performance in Tarkov PvE and use an AMD GPU, I highly recommend trying out the FMF2 preview driver. You can find the link in the video description below. For those on other GPUs experiencing performance issues, it might be worth considering an AMD upgrade. You can use the timestamps below to skip ahead to footage on each map. Also keep in mind that I'm using a pretty cost effective setup here with the 5600X3D and an RX7600. Pretty amazing stuff. Alright, so that's all I got for this one. I hope it was helpful for you. If it was, please blast the like button with some AP20 rounds while wearing a Yushanka and Scav vest. Thanks for all the support through your views, likes, and comments. It means the world to me and I'm very grateful. Back to the grind for me and see you in the next one.
Need ammo! 